Welcome and get ready to dive into the thrilling world of investments, where numbers dance, money talks, and the unexpected always keeps us on our toes. Palantir Technology stock has been on a tier this year, up to 178% year to date. The company is expected to announce its second quarter earnings after the market closes on August 7th. There's a lot of anticipation built to this earning release. So today, we're going to walk you through what investors are looking for into the earnings report. Palantir Technologies, with the ticker symbol PLTR, is a fast-growing big data and analytics company serving commercial clients and government agencies. We covered Palantir stocks in a recent video, and you can check it out here. In 2023, Palantir made significant strides, announcing partnerships with industry leaders like SpectreOps, AirMatrix, and Kerosoft. These developments set the stage for a thrilling financial update expected in their August 7th earnings report. A few days ago, Palantir announced another jaw-dropping partnership. They've teamed up with JD Power in an extraordinary partnership. For all you Palantir shareholders out there, this is fantastic news, and the stock is up 2% on the day the news broke out. According to the news release, Palantir is expected to leverage its generative artificial intelligence capabilities to produce novel observations into the automotive industry. JD Power specializes in the collection and analysis of more than 20 million vehicle transactions per year, earning its reputation off the back of car ratings, reviews, and price evaluations. The partnership with Palantir is expected to only enhance the company's understanding and projective capabilities within the auto market. JD Power is already leveraging Palantir's Foundry platform, tailored for their commercial clients, while their Gotham platform takes care of government agencies. With all this data at their disposal, Palantir is set to provide repair analytics, monitor warranty costs, and identify areas in need of extra attention in the automotive industry. This breakthrough collaboration will fundamentally transform the way the auto industry analyzes its performance and optimizes its go-to market strategy and product offerings by pairing the world's most robust automotive databases with the most powerful analytics platforms, said Dave Habinger, JD Power President and CEO. As a result of our work with Palantir, our clients are now able to create unique insights that were previously impossible. When asked about the partnership, Alexander Karp, co-founder and CEO of Palantir, said that the automotive industry is at a critical inflection point as AI and other forces continue to transform the industry. Palantir has been heavily engaged with the government agencies to deploy their AI platforms, especially in the national defense sector. This news with JD Power shows Palantir's technologies can be equally beneficial in the commercial side as other industries can also benefit from their AI processing power. Although partnerships like this will not have a direct impact on Palantir's upcoming earnings, they will, however, reinforce Palantir's future earnings growth. Now let's talk about their earnings forecast on August 7. We're going to dissect Palantir's latest earnings projections to figure out where the share price might be headed after the big report. Analysts are projecting strong revenue growth for Palantir Technologies, with a forecasted revenue of $532 million for Q2 2023. This represents an impressive year-over-year -year growth rate of 12.6%, which is relatively good news for the big data and analytics giant. Comparatively, during the first quarter, Palantir reported impressive revenues of $525 million, showcasing a year-over-year -year growth rate of 17.66%. While Palantir's Q2 revenue growth rate is expected to slow slightly compared to Q1, it's still positive news. Furthermore, Palantir is expecting its adjusted earnings per share or EPS for Q2 to be $0.05 cents on the positive side, with gap earnings per share estimated at $0.01 cent also on the positive side. Additionally, the net income is predicted to reach $113 million, indicating a very promising quarter-over-quarter -quarter improvement of 5.07% from the previous quarter's $107 million. Looking ahead, analysts anticipate revenues of $556 million for Q3 and $599 million for Q4, demonstrating year-over-year -year growth rates of 16.35% and 17.75% respectively. These forecasts suggest an acceleration in the company's growth trajectory compared to the estimated Q2 revenue figures. Moreover, the adjusted earnings per share estimates for Q3 and Q4 stand at $0.05 cents and $0.06, cents, respectively, on the positive side showing increasing financial metrics over time. 
If these projections materialize, Palantir will be poised to report an impressive full-year revenue of approximately $2.2 billion and adjusted earnings per share of $0.21 cents on the positive side for the year 2023, which is absolutely phenomenal for a growing company of its size. 2023 has been an incredible year for them, and the growth train is still rolling full steam ahead. Sure, next year might see the growth pace slow down a bit, but that's not a problem at all. Their revenues are expected to increase between 12% to 16% for the current year, and with all the new contracts and partnerships, they've got even more in store for the next. The future is looking bright for Palantir Technologies, and the best part is, they're just getting started. Over the past month alone, Palantir's share price has surged by a jaw-dropping 16%, leaving the S&P 500 in the dust at just 4%. Remember when I said Palantir was one of the best AI growth stocks to buy on the market in the previous video? Well, it looks like I wasn't wrong. Projections for their upcoming EPS are mind-blowing, with an expected 600% year-over-year change. PLTR share price is already trading at $18 per share, but some bullish analysts think it could surge past $20. Personally, while I like Palantir's stock and believe its price will be a lot higher than $18 in the long term, given the fast rise in the last few weeks, I think the current stock price is likely trading at a premium, so I'd rather wait for a pullback to build positions strategically. So here's my strategy. I'm keeping an eye out for a potential pullback in their share price. It might happen after their earnings report if the company results come out missing expectations. That will give us a prime buying opportunity. Also, make sure you use dollar cost average to add to your positions over time, as this helps reduce the overall cost. Remember, always do your own research before making moves. So mark your calendar, folks, for Palantir Technologies earning release, which takes place after the bell on August 7th. But let me tell you, it's going to be one heck of a ride. Alright, that's it for now. I'll catch you in the next YouTube video. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you.